So if you're a classic person and you're know, waiting for a sign or it must be a sign or anything like that, unless you're reading a sign, like a stop sign or a giveaway sign or a sign on the front of a shop, forget about signs. There's no signs or, or we're talking about medical things where you have a sign of a heart attack. Sure, look into that. If you're talking about a sign from the gods, a sign from the universe, for the, from spirit, from the creation, from source, from whatever, Mother Earth, this is one of the biggest reasons why you're not successful. Because if you're waiting for a sign, it means you're not doing anything. You're waiting for a sign. This is actually a type of magical thinking that we had when we were children. And you're supposed to grow out of that as an adult, as a functional being going into adulthood where you want to be. You want to be functional. You want to be whole individual. And by bringing this magical thinking up from childhood, you're stopping yourself being more functional as a, as a being because it's something that little kids can use to survive. And it's completely healthy. Their imagination is quite rampant in the younger years. As I'm sure you can remember yourself and from watching kids, they have a very crazy imagination. They can see things that aren't there and that's perfectly fine. As an adult, when you start to see things that aren't there, you start to become a little crazy. You start to be locked up in an insane asylum. So let's stop seeing signs that aren't really there. And what do I mean by that? What am I talking about when I talk about signs? Let's talk about computer program, for instance. You're trying to start a project and the project keeps crashing. My editing software, which is known to crash all the time. And same with music studios, they crash all the time. The programs crash and the autosave function is literally a lifesaver. You're looking to start a project. You load up your editing software. You start editing the project and this is going to perpetuate your business. It's going to perpetuate your future, become a better person, whatever it is, right? This is your next your next goal and it crashes and you're like, oh, well, that's a sign that I don't, I'm not supposed to be working on this right now. No, the program just crashed. So let's load the program back up again and edit it again. It doesn't mean anything. A sign that you had a dream. You had a dream and in the dream some things happen. That's a sign that you're going the wrong path or it's a sign you need to change up your, your business model. A sign that your relationship's in danger or whatever it is. How about we look at it for what it actually is and see what it actually is and then make a decision from that instead of relying on our imaginations and things that aren't necessarily true factors when it comes to the world of business, when it comes to the world of relationships and friendships, careers, uh, whatever it is. Because if every business just based their, their decisions off their feelings, whims and signs, no business would ever be successful because everyone would be like, oh, well, that's a sign, back off, well, that's a sign, we need to go fully into this and it's a completely wrong thing to do because it's a terrible decision. But there was a sign, so it must be true. Thank you.